This one? Yeah, but actually now I'm scared. <laughs> you don't have to be scared. I got you. It's okay. Just put your foot. Put your, just put your foot up there. I got you. Okay. Oh my God. Oh wow. Okay. okay. Oh wait. Okay. Okay. Wow. Thanks. All right. Ah. I'm in a tree. When I was a little kid, uh, I used to think that my dad worked for like a secret government organization because he wore a shirt and tie. Whenever he would drive us out east to his condo, we'd pass these silos. And I thought like, that's where he hides the classified missiles. I think I was just trying to like fill in the mystery of who this person is, you know? He was an accountant. <laughs> he was an accountant. My dad was a tool and die maker and Every once in a while, he would pick me and my sister up from school. And we'd be like, why aren't you at work? And he'd be like, oh, I punched my boss. And then he'd just be home for a couple of months. My dad, uh, we hadn't spoken for a while, and then he just texted me last night, and he just texted, what's up? I was like, I know what's happening here. My stepmom's out of town. He's had a couple glasses of wine. Now he's having some feelings. I'm about to get like a whole bunch of typos and some emoji hearts. But, but it's very nice. It's, I'll take it. Football was always on. Always, when I was growing up. And the intimacy I remember would always just happen at halftime. I would uh, wrestle with my dad. And I always, like, I looked forward to that. We would just wrestle and laugh and laugh, you know? <laughs> always at halftime during a football game. That was, that was where I remember any intimacy, you know? I think for me, it's like, uh... We, I don't know about physical intimacy, but we, we get emotional intimacy over text message, you know? When uh, my dad found this post I had on what I thought was a secret blog where I'd come out, and he texted me, and he said, I love you, and I love you no matter how you live your life, and he spelled it out, L-O-V-E, it wasn't L-U-V, you know? Felt like he spelled it out. I remember watching the it was the it was the 1987 Fiesta Bowl. And Penn State was playing Miami. I was 10, maybe I just turned 11, and we were supposed to we we were supposed to root for Penn State. I think because they wore white helmets or something like that, you know. <laughs> And uh, it was a back and forth game. And then at halftime, you know, we're wrestling around. And then like after the halftime was over and the third quarter started, I stayed down there and I was like resting on his hip, you know? And two minutes into the game, he told me that uh, Penn State was doing better when I was sitting back up on the couch. So he told me to get back up and go back on the couch. So, so I did, I went back up on the couch. I love you very much, you know that, right? I love you too. I love that beard. <laughs> you need help getting down out of the tree? I need a lot of help getting out. I'm very scared being up in the tree. I know, I know. Please help me. It's okay, me. I got you. Terrified of heights. Yes. All right, hold on, All right, let's see. Just All right, I'm going. Mm -hmm. Go in, go in this way. <laughs> 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 oh, No more emotions. 
Good luck with that.